A woman and her nine-year-old daughter lived in this home until a tree fell on it last week. It's, it's out happening. Of transportation yep. and home all at once. She paid insurance, but she just learned that won't help. Starting at zero tonight, their efforts to get back on their feet after the storm. Held days after a tree came crashing into their home during Tropical Storm Debbie. Who knows what's going to happen? We are going to get kicked out. Elizabeth Combs has renter's insurance, but it only covers her liability. Channel 9's Ken Lemon spoke to her today and joins us live outside that damaged home. And Ken, her daughter is supposed to start school tomorrow, but she has no way to get there. Yeah, she has no idea how that's going to happen. Look, this is the root of that tree that fell here last Thursday. And as it fell, I want you to take a look at this. It actually lifted up the backyard gate. That's about nine feet up in the air. It toppled right there onto that home. Mother and daughter were inside. They were unharmed, but they said everything went downhill from there. The floor is soaked. The cracks in the walls and anxiety on the faces of the mother and daughter who lived there. I was out of transportation and home all at once. The tree that destroyed Elizabeth Combs' home just off of Linwood Road also damaged her car. She said she had renter's insurance and later learned it was liability renter's insurance that only covers damage caused by the renter. This isn't covered. Neither is all of her daughter's clothes and scores of items inside. Combs and her daughter are now staying in a motel, paying $90 a night. The single mother is running out of money. If I don't have the money to pay for another night, that 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 means we're out on the street. She said her daughter's an honor student who hopes to start fourth grade on the first day of school Wednesday, but she knows that can't happen. They have bigger problems. They're having trouble finding another home to rent. Who knows what's gonna happen? We are gonna get kicked out. We're gonna have to sleep in the rain on the streets. You know, we're not gonna be able to eat. Her mother cried hearing that. You just want to give your kid the world and when you can't even uh, when you can't even give them a place to sleep Yeah, and that part really hit home for her. Elizabeth Combs says she's now working with the same realtor to help her find this house, but the process is slow, especially considering she now needs a place that will accept her for payments so she can get back on her feet. Live in Gastonia, I'm Ken Lemon, Channel 9, I will News.